The first is made in 76 AD and the district scale was recorded in the early morning hours. The epicenter of the first was located in the sea, several tens of kilometers from the coast. As a result of the first earthquake, a small tsunami was recorded, but no significant damage occurred. However, rescue servers were put on standby to assist the victims. Same day, another earthquake shook in the new world. <gasps> the second earthquake had a higher magnitude 72 and the reach the scale. The epicenter of the second shock was also approximately in the same areas as the first. The consequences of the second earthquake are as if the more serious than it is great strength. Local residents took to the streets in panic, fearing obstruction and possible destruction. In a number of areas, rising sea levels were recorded, raising chance of possible tsunami. Rescue shores began evacuating the population from coastal areas in anticipation of possible tsunami threat. According to the late date, a number of victims and destruction as a result of the earthquake remains to be counted. Local authorities talk to national and international organizations asking for help and support. Para Japan? Hindi, gawiyog pa ito Japan? The head of state addressed condolences to the families of the victims and declared his readiness to provide all necessary resources to provide assistance. Was Kubla, oh?
Vi morgen til Sørvæs og Aurel, der er det sin. Prøvede en assistent til victims og participere i en relief operations. Transport and communication services have been temporarily suspended in a number of areas due to the need to check infrastructure for damage. Expos are warning possibility of further earthquake in the coming days, and the public is being urged to exercise caution and follow instructions from security services. International organizations, including the Red Cross and the UNI, have already experienced their readiness to provide humanitarian aid and support. Despite the complexity of the situation, local residents show unity in solidarity, helping each other. A number of countries have experienced their willingness to provide financial and material assistance to Indonesia in connection with the consequences of the earthquake. Rescue operations continue under conditions of increasing complexity due to the vastness of the incident area. The country's authorities promise to take measures to restore the infrastructure and lives of the victims. Stay tuned, all the situation continues to evolve, and thank you for watching.